Hey, are you excited about the new year? I certainly am because to me, new year brings in new possibilities and I celebrate it twice every year. One, when the Hindu new year comes, that is Ugadi, I celebrate Ugadi and two, when the calendar changes. To me, it is the time to reflect upon what went right, what went wrong and make changes wherever necessary. For this new year, I've decided not to do a couple of things that I used to before and I wanted to share that with you in this video. So let's get started. Hi there, a very happy new year to you. If this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Aparna, I am a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel on YouTube and following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as LinkedIn. All the details are up on the screen and in the description below. Usually this time of the year, I reflect on my goals, what went right, what went wrong, the kind of changes that I need to bring about, the course corrections, wherever necessary. But this time it's a little different. I connected deeper with myself than usual and confronted a lot of questions. Let's just say for the last 15 days, I've been having an intense introspection. I'd like to quote Albert Einstein here. He said insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. Therefore, in order for me to change my results, the outcomes, I've decided not to do few things this year. Here they are. Number one, take myself for granted. Because in spite of prioritizing, I realized that I was pushing myself over the edge and ignoring certain areas of my life which matter to me. So I decided in the new year, I'm not going to take myself for granted and put all the things that I enjoy back on my list. Which means I need to free up my time, right? So to overschedule my calendar. Because of my love for planning and scheduling, I realized that I was overbooking my calendar, not leaving me any time to do things that I love in spite of it being on my to-do list. So in the new year, I've decided that I will not overschedule and keep myself enough time to things that I love. Number three, ignore my relationship with money because I've been doing that lately. I'm almost apologetic when it comes to money for asking payment, etc. So I decided I will not do it in the new year. In fact, I've signed up my friend to help me fix it. Number four, set my new year resolutions. Yes, you heard me right. I do not want to set up resolutions this new year because what I've set the last year and a year before that is still going on. I've made a lot of changes and they are still, I can say, work in progress. By not adding the new resolutions to the existing ones, I've eased up the potential burden and stress. And number five, do things to impress others. So far, I used to do things just because I valued the relationship much more than anything else. However, I realize a lot of people tend to take you for granted, robbing me of my energy. So yes, no more doing things just to impress others. So there you go. Those are the five things I decided not to do this new year. Do you see a pattern here? What do you infer from these five things that I told you? Do let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do hit a like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you in the new year. Until then, take good care of yourself. A very happy new year again. Bye.